Alcohol is definitely banned on Bondi Beach, but we can't stop people coming to the beach that are already drunk. One man can't swim at all. He can only be held up for so long. I thought, wow, well, I feel like I'm on some sort of speed date. On a beach where almost anything goes, some behaviour still turns heads. I'm really intrigued. Time to explain himself. Well, there I was, man. I was f***ing out you went after a shock, and I was like, buddy, you like me? Well, she's a f***ing shock behind you. And he was like, oh, meh. Full of Irish spirit, Kieran was the best man at his brother's wedding. A day later, he's still kicking on at his very own beach party. Reedy investigates. What are you doing? What's happening? Just having a bit of crack is fine, bro. bro. Just saying if you want to come do some training with us. Oh, yeah. Do you want to go for a jog? Then we're going to do some swimming. Let's go for a run. You want to go for a run? Yeah. I'll race out to North Bondi back. You ready? You ready? Go. Uh, he's off again. I think it's lovely to meet you. Intoxicated, smoking, and now disturbing beachgoers, Kieran's time is up. Right through, excuse me. What we want you to do is go home safely. Yeah, absolutely. And stay off the beach. That's fine. Yeah. Intoxicated, OK? Yeah. Got that? Absolutely. As one Bondi sideshow comes to an end, another starts up. Year's Eve, Bondi's biggest night of the year. 15,000 revellers count down a new decade. Cracking it large at Bondi Beach. Happy New Year, everybody. The morning after, the night before. Lifeguards expect Bondi will be a battlefield. Here we go again. 5am. Normally, the first joggers begin appearing. Today, it's the first drunk. First rush was 2010. Yeah. 2010, let's try it. For some, New Year's Day begins with a rude shock. Well, going again. Oh, well, there's no way I'm rescuing him. <laughs> He's staying there. I've seen a few wangs this morning. While many are alive to the new decade, some are yet to arrive. last night, sort of just drive up to them as we go and see if they're all right. Morning. Hello. You all right? You all right? You boys OK? Morning, people. Sounding an alarm and waking people up. It's not really necessary. It's more funny than anything. <laughs> It's not long before the first incident of the year. Outside the safety of the flags, a man signals he's in trouble. It's the same man who joked earlier that he wanted to swim in Backpacker's Rip and be the first rescue of the decade. First rescue of 2010. Yeah. 2010, let us try. Let's try. Let's try. Let's try. Let's try. Do you know what? I'm going to go swimming in Backpacker's Rip. <laughs> New Year's Day starts with a prank. I can't tell whether, whether he's fed income or not. Not sure if the man is faking, Dino has no choice but to investigate. So I hope he's got clothes on. But there are unpleasant distractions on the way. here in the nude. All right, come on, jump in. I've got to go back to work. I'm trying to work out whether you're serious or not. Lay down on your belly, all the way down. 
<laughs> got a cramp. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Ah. Oh. I was watching you, you're all right. Lay down, come on. <laughs> Get it yourself. For English tourist Craig, it's the first lesson of the new year. Be careful what you wish for. Dino, you were there for it, mate. Thank you very much for that. I mean, I appreciate that. Craig. Have a good day. Yeah, you have a good day. Uh, <laughs> me. He's dangerous. All the boys is like, like shadow deep like that. And then all of a sudden, this <laughs> he just took you out. He ain't got no excuse. Like, he just takes you straight out. <laughs> scary, I'll tell you that. <laughs> scary. I ain't going back out there again until he's beside me. Watch out. Sorry, boy. We'll run you over. Punishment. Alcohol is definitely banned on Bondi Beach, but we can't stop people coming to the beach that are already drunk. Oh, look at her, she's got sand all over her. Look, she's gonna walk. She'll fall into one of these people for sure. So we got this woman on the beach, and I don't think I've ever seen anyone so drunk on the beach ever. Don't really need to be dealing with her. Mate, leave it, leave so it. I've never seen someone so paranoid. What, what are we going to do with her? Mate, she's like Bambi on ice. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> really, our main focus is the water. As soon as she goes to go for a swim, she becomes our problem. She's going back in the water. She was so drunk that all it would take was one or two waves and she could probably drown. Where is she? Oh, I think some people are grabbing her. Yeah, I'll go down. I just want to try and keep out of the water. Bon, I sent you Lukey. What's, what's the go? You alright? She's just... She's pretty blind. It's coming to the point where it's starting to annoy us. I found your sunnies. And it's taking all of our focus off the water and there's a few lifeguards that are having to deal with this. Uh, stay out of the water. You're too drunk and you're, you're taking our eyes off the beach. Had enough of it, alright? Kobe's giving her the stern word. If you put your foot in the water again, I'm going to call the police, I'm telling you. What the f You heard? So, we just want to get her off the beach so we can get back to doing what we do. She's going to hurt herself or something, something like that. So, call the police and see how we go. This lady, she's drunk, she's making life uncomfortable for other people, and now she's becoming a menace. See that guy with the white singlet? Yeah, yeah. Chick sitting on that, she doesn't matter. Okay. Our ultimate goal is that she gets off the beach safely, she goes home, drinks lots of water, and goes to bed, sleeps it off. Coppers just came down and they just sort of escorted her off the beach, and uh, now I can get back to watching the water. You might have to run here, mate. Yeah. 6 p.m. and Hoppo spots a woman caught in a rip. Yeah, go down, go down. Jackson must sprint 300 metres to reach the woman. With no buggy available, Jackson must fight his way through the party goers on foot. Next minute, I'm running through all the Santa Clauses and Mrs. Clauses and running through. You can see just that one near the surfer. Because I didn't get to see where this lady was, I was sort of just running down, hoping for the best. When I got there, I just saw this female and she was definitely needed going to be retrieved and she was right at the back of a rip. Mate, go for it, Adam. A surfer reaches the girl first. There are four daughters just holding them up. So I got out into the girl and um, she was actually in good spirits. As soon as she spoke to me, I could smell a bit of alcohol in her breath. I got, geez, she's had a good day, this fine. I said, oh, do you want to lift in? And she said, please, I'm Bianca. I'm Jackson, hop on. <laughs> I thought, well, wow, I feel like I'm on some sort of speed date. I've got her in and she's sort of gotten really up at my grill. I thought, oh, Bianca's getting a bit close here. What's doing? I'm not sure I approve this behaviour on the beach. To be fair to Jackson, he was still acting professional and he was trying to keep her at arm's length. I've worked down here for a while and uh, I've been congratulated before, but the way she sort of went in, it was definitely unexpected. I was swimming out there thinking that I was all good. 
and I wasn't. And then I looked, and there was old mate. <laughs> I'm a good man, Christmas. Count down the minutes till seven o'clock now. Wild. When Jackson comes back up to the tower, he seems to have a bit of a spring in his step. You just tried to catch me, eh? Oh, shit. <laughs> we got off and she goes, I'm the anchor. And she went, gone into the, <laughs> gone into the patch. It was worth a run. Oh, not about that. <laughs> I guess it's not a bad way to, uh, to end Christmas. For tourists not familiar with the surf, Bondi can be a dangerous place. Add alcohol to ignorance and things rapidly unravel. Something going on, maybe. Ah! Get an arm up, boys. Moments later, they're in danger of losing much more than their ball. <laughs> Yatesy heads in. Help it. He's beaten to the scene by a Bondi rescue cameraman. Hold each other up, hold each other up. Ah! One man can't swim at all. He can only be held up for so long. Well done, boys. You're all right. Yatesy needs backup to ferry them in and signals to Hoppo. Give us a five, boys. Hey, you're all right, mate. All you need to get on. That's it now. Put. Come right back. Put your, put your head almost in his ass. That's it. Come right, lift your chest up. That's it. Oh, Carly, nice and easy. Right, let's go on the black shorts in the front. Just roll off. That's it, mate. You're all right, mate. All right. Even though the surf is virtually flat, these fit young men still managed to get into strife. The closer I got, the, the more I was thinking, oh, there's going to be sort of four or five of them holding onto my board. From now on, ball games will be kept to the beach. I was holding the ball and just noting my depth and just putting just lost and touching. Yeah, man. Hello, Mom. A man attracts the attention of lifeguards on Christmas Day. Hi. Head lifeguard Hoppo investigates. Roy may have consumed a little too much Christmas spirit. If we're really concerned, it's kind of a police job anyway, I reckon. Hello, baby. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, gorgeous. I love you. Love you. Hoppo alerts local police. Yeah, I'm down there, I haven't checked. Yeah, we're good. Hey, lady. Mate. Mate. Come over. You all right? All right, mate. Brush your face up for a sec. Just stop for a sec. Hold on. Oh. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah. fine. You just had a couple of drinks, or? Oh, so many. So many. Sorry, guys. Are you, you haven't taken anything, or? No, no. Oh, You're maybe right? some. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm fine. You Ooh. don't need it. A... No, no, I'm fine. Sorry, guys. No, it's okay. No, you Sorry, don't need guys. Ambulance or anything, you're no, right. no, 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 I'm fine, I'm fine. Sorry to. That's right, you get you in the party today? Or? Did I come from there? Shit. Did you walk up? Huh? Did you walk up? No, no, I'm fine, guys. You don't need your help. Thank you very no, much just, for looking we after me, right? We just had a few people worried about you, just on the stairs. Oh, really? So, well, yeah. thank you very much for worrying about me. That's I right. appreciate it. Sorry, guys. You, Sorry, it's just, you just been drinking? And... Yeah, so much. Eh? I come all from right. in Anapopsy. I've had a good day. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, well, I'm fine. Thank Merry you very much. No We're from Eastern Suburbs. Yes. Thank you yeah, very much for looking out for the water, mate. Yeah, no, I'm not going in no. there. Thank you guys for worrying no about me. Appreciate it. Merry Christmas. Yeah. You too. See you. Ta -da. Thank you guys for worrying about me. No worries. Love you. I can't believe I come from there. Roy wisely decides it's time to move on. When someone actually goes out of their way and, and stops you, immediately you sort of think the worst. Hello. I'm 
a few hours ago and, and you just you didn't... About three didn't hours ago and she kept going back in and out. She was definitely drunk. Yeah. I might walk down there. There's someone in the shower each, too. Sweet. The bag's pretty close to shore. I'm just trying to look out the back, but just in case, you know. We're just going through this girl's stuff just to, um, I suppose, try and find her where she's from or where she is, you know. There's a full bank there. They've got a set of flags up there now. Oh, she's on the bottom. Thanks so much. I'm going to uh, I'm going to call the police now, and um, and I'll, I'll, I'll do my very best to get back to you when I know something. No. Yeah, back to you, man. I'm off the beach. No, thanks, yeah. boy. Up here. Um, oh, okay. okay. So that's a work colleague of hers. She's got suicidal tendencies. It's good to have that information, but then again, it's not the information that you really want to hear. What do you guys think? I. It's a big call to get the chopper, but... I mean, we reckon we definitely call the cops. Um, yeah. Rudy's doing a thorough search of the bay here. Yeah, it gets tiring. You see weed and think it's something. Yeah, there is plenty that uh, gets your heart rate up. Boys, uh, I just got more info. Just the general I'm with. He said he saw her stand up, kick her shoes off, and then head south. Uh, if she's last seen going south, just, um, she could be sitting on the rocks over there. When Hoppo arrives on the sand, we know that he's made a judgement from his office and, and from the, the uh, stuff being broadcast over the radios that uh, we're going to have to scale this up to the next level. Yeah, Jake, I had a look at the ID before. Me and Tez will head south now. I think I uh, could recognise him. It's a funny one. Hello? And then I hear a mobile phone ring. It looks like it's coming from the lady's bag. The boys have brought it back to the tower for safekeeping. Yeah, I'll make the water. OK. We've got the boys out there now looking everywhere, so um, we're just going to have to search a bit more now. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. That was a friend on the phone? She said that she was blind drunk this morning. She has got a history of this as well, and she's really concerned about it. South Road in Dino. I'm coming up empty down here, mate. I'm just at the uh, first ramp. Got the chopper inbound. You can just see it over my shoulder here. It's uh, it's going to do an aerial search, and that's really going to uh, it's going to pick something up pretty quickly. It's unusual the chopper comes. It doesn't come that many times a year, unless it's a really critical and uh, serious occasion. One night lifeguards, lifesaver one. Can you read us? Yeah, yeah we copy you. We've got the, the missing person has a black dress on, an islander descent, and she's 39 years old. Last time seen, she was in the middle set of the flags and she was walking south into the water. Okay, we'll be concerned that the chopper's sitting still. Hovering over one spot and then hovering some more. You start to get that feeling in your pit of your stomach that maybe we've missed something. We're all starting to get a really bad feeling about this, you know. The lady's been missing for a while now. Potential stand by, I could have something here. She may have gone in the water. She may have tried to commit suicide. Potential stand by, I could have something here. The next thing I hear is, is, is a two-way transmission from Hoppo that he's got something. Now, this is where we hope that it's not the chopper reporting something, so we'll just stand by. How far down? A lady came up to me and uh, said there was a person that she had seen earlier that was walking towards the north end, and it sort of sounded a bit like that person. Yeah. Yeah. And there she was. If I'm not central, I've got her. The first thing you notice is everyone sort of lets out a sigh of relief. What about the young bloke, right? <laughs> it's just like this 
oh, this weight's been lifted off us because, you know, we're preparing ourselves for the worst at that stage. Where you went? What? Found your bag and no use. When I first got her in the rhino, she was a bit disorientated. So that's why we took her back up the tower, called the police, and the police then uh, took over and looked after her, and they also called the ambulance in. She's just sitting down the, in the shade there, and the police are probably monitoring her and making sure she's going to be okay. It's great when uh, we find people before they've actually hurt themselves, and hopefully she can get help. and. Anyone else that comes down, we can get, and they can get help as well. So it's it's a fantastic feeling for everyone. No one wants to deal with the worst case scenario. They all want the good ending where the woman goes off and maybe in a month or six months time comes back and knocks on the door and says, hey guys, I just want to pop in and let you know how good my life's going.